This is the Transformers Generations uh, homage to Beast Machines Tankor or the Vicon. Uh, here he is. Here's a quick look at the packaging. He is from the Rat Trap Wave uh, with a crosscut. Um, wave one, two, three, four, wave five. Is that it? Possibly wave five or wave four revision. Anyway, wave one was the trail cutter. Ryan Packs wave, wave two was the hoist and thundercracker wave, wave three, waspinator and skids. Wave um, wave four was scoop, armada starscream. Wave five, all right, wave five with tankor and rat trap. Wave six is uh, uh, G-axis and uh, windblade, and then hopefully wave seven, chromia and RC. So here he is. He's a little bit pug sized uh, as he is an homage to the I think Beast Machines. I never really got to watch that entire show. Uh, Beast Wars was okay. Beast Wars Transmetals, and then uh, Beast Wars was an okay cartoon for its for you know back in the day that it was pretty hot. Um, and then they made Beast Machines. I was like, oh, okay, Beast Machines. They're like beasts that are machines. Why don't you just make them transform like into cars and machines and vehicles like the old days? And, you know, Hasbro was trying to keep it fresh and it, it did work for a while. I mean, people were back into Transformers. I mean, people wanted Transformers because of the Beast Wars and, you know, and they set the set the standards for articulation and uh, movement of the figures and they weren't they were posable now so anyway that was a long time ago so Tankor very very pug size just to give an example here he is with uh, Hunt for Revenge of the Fallen Hunt for the Septicons uh, what's his guy's name Hailstorm he's still taller than Hailstorm I thought he would be as tall head to toe not not including this one not including the weapons just head to toe I actually thought he would be smaller um, now for the big test is he Taller or shorter than Age of Extinction Drift? Uh, he is head to toe because of the helmet. He's shorter. So, Drift is still okay in my book. I was going to have a fit it had Drift been much smaller than Tankor. Uh, sad, sorry state of our deluxe class figures. Great detail and whatnot. Easier transformations. But uh, smaller in size higher in price point well done hasbro well done for you know finding ways to milk money from collectors so tankor paint apps wonderful um as always i mean it's the yellow paint yellow and white hasbro's trouble with that yellow and white and the yellow paint make sure it's not bleeding into the other colors they use a wonderful um sort of pearlesque type of grayish blue plastic it has got a little bit of flake it's not a flat type of plastic so it's very nice uh, they did a wonderful job on the blue color it looks a lot like tank or if you had the old beast machines toy that probably is still a much better toy compared to this uh, this is sort of like they're trying we're trying to update this figure mm, I, I suppose this you know if you're a classical beast machines fan this might not be for you you're just gonna nitpick on this one but if you if you're new into the transformers i mean you 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 if you just grew up or if if you're just you 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 woke up into the transformers world with the movies um and just catching up on the old cartoons this is not a bad toy to actually get three present tank or in the beast machines line so he's got a removable uh, blaster it's uh, it's not spring loaded. It's sort of like a friction Star Wars each Star Wars ish type of blaster. Won't not gonna. I mean, don't don't. I mean, it's 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 pretty soft, but don't go shooting it at anybody's eye. You're gonna poke at guy's eye. So it is posable as well. He's got swivel neck. He's got a ball hinge uh, shoulder, bicep swivel, double hinge um, elbows because of transformation he can close his claws so hand articulation that's nice no waist because of transformation ball hinge hips hinge knees and a little bit of a foot articulation because of transformation so eh, it's thank core i mean you have to judge this figure based on who he is not just for a toy in itself if it's just a toy itself 
you're, you're gonna have problems. So transform him, very easy. Go ahead and fold out the feet. You don't even need the instructions for this one. If you've been watching a lot of the Beast Machines, they've, you know, the, the transformations aren't that complicated back in the day. It was only when Revenge of the Fallen and uh, Transformers the movie came in that transformations were, were more challenging. <laughs> anyway, uh, how do you do this? Okay. Oops, sorry. Like this. He's got these spinning buzzsaw, which is really just, again, an homage to the um, Beast Machines figure, I think. Okay, like that. And then like this. And there he is. He's supposedly a beast tank. <laughs> He's a V-Con! Uh, and again, as you can see, there's a lot of gaps here and there. Uh, they were trying so hard to make him uh, as as updated an updated version of robot mode that perhaps the transformation had suffered a bit and the alt mode yeah I think they, they took into consideration more uh, of the um, I think it was more for the robot mode than the alt mode if, if, if at all there's a peg right here which I don't know what to do with. Uh, Oh, it was for the back. Sorry, my bad. When transformation. Anyway, so there he is. Um, Tankor. A lot of Beast Machines fans are probably going to be after this one, but here in Manila, this one is a peg warmer. Um, he's not the best one in the wave. I mean, if, if you had to get anybody, Rat Trap would be good. Um, Crosscut doesn't appear until the G Haxis wave. So, interesting enough. <laughs> So, yeah, um, yeah, overall, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's definitely not a wow figure. Again, if you're a big, big beast, beast, on, beast Machines fan, this is okay. This is really great. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases, Instagram for my toy sightings here in Manila. Check out all my video reviews on this channel. Chefatron. This has been the... Oh! Almost forgot about this one. He comes with a comic book in which he has a cameo where he argues with Starscream on leadership and that's about it. This is still from the Dark Cybertron line. We get to see the Metro Plex, I think. Um, oh yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, Transformers Generations um, IDW Deluxe Class Tank Horror.